At a shocking cost of $5 billion plus dollars, the Apple Park easily makes it to any list of the most expensive buildings on the planet. But why is it so expensive? Well, in this video, we'll look at five possible reasons. Stick around to the end to find out why the labor cost of constructing Apple Park were astronomical. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on more so expensive videos. Let's get cracking. The main building is humongous. The first reason why Apple Park is so expensive has to do with the incredibly massive nature of the main building. Photos don't do it justice, and it is one of those office complexes that get you drooling and slack-jawed with awe at its scope and apparent complexity when you're finally within spitting distance of it. It is humongous, to say the least. This circular building is a mile in circumference, has 2.8 million square foot of space, and is the biggest naturally ventilated building on the planet, as well as one of the most energy efficient, apart from hosting some of the largest solar roofs on Earth. We reckon that if you were in top shape, you could run around it in about five to six minutes. A walk could take you up to an hour if you dawdled with zeal. Beneath this circular behemoth is a tunnel that leads to a vast underground garage with 8,255 parking spaces. Also present in the park is a thousand-seater theater named after Jobs, whose total cost is $179,437,000. $885. This theater's lobby alone costs around $12 million to build. The main building also has a visitor center built at a cost of $109,670,640, which has a cafe, guest reception area, display area, and plenty of parking. There's also an office building with four floors, a mechanical rooftop, cafeteria, and espresso bar that was built for $115,370,380. The building also boasts a 100,000 square foot fitness center that costs nearly $17 million to put up, with this space containing a massive yoga studio, physical therapy space, and laundry facilities. The Apple Park is in Cupertino, California and sits on 176 acres of prime land that reportedly cost about $160 million to purchase. It is big with a capital B and designed with sustainability in mind. Eight years was required to proceed from the planning and proposal stages to the permit and construction stages. Some 12,000 workers call the park home and members of the public are not allowed to gallivant inside. Built in accordance with the design philosophy of Steve Jobs, the park is meant to take the form of a nature park more than an usual office space that we're used to, and around 80% of it's green, with trees beautifully planted around, plus an orchard whose produce is consumed on site. The park also produces around 75% of its own power needs, some 17 megawatts, via rooftop solar panels. Apart from being massive, another explanation of the fantastic cost is the unusual circular design of the spaceship. Circles are curvy, as your eyes are no doubt aware and it is this curve that makes circular construction such an expensive proposition. Now let's take a quick break here for the quiz. What's the weight of the heaviest glass panels that make up the most of the exterior of the spaceship? Is it A, two tons, B, five tons, C, six tons, or D, three tons? Think you know the answer? Write it right now in the comment section below and keep watching until the end of the video to find out if you're correct as we reveal the answer. The spaceship. Check out the main building at the Apple Park, often called the spaceship, due to its immense circular shape. This is a four story building that reportedly cost $427 million to build and used over 3,000 custom made glass panels. All 3,000 of these panels are curved, and they're actually the biggest curved glass panels found on any structure at the present and are made to the highest standards possible. They measure from 36 to 46 feet in width and 10 and a half feet long, making them two times larger than normal. These glass panels were crafted by Foster and Partners in association with Seal and Sadak, with Seal having to expand their production facilities to fully meet the demand of these panels. Specially made to prevent distortion or cloudy, these panels stretch for three miles around the circumference of the spaceship, giving the building transparency and a minimalistic and innovative look that perfectly meshes with Apple's long-standing design philosophy. They also double as the walls of this monstrous edifice and are made with user safety in mind and possess excellent insulation properties. Additionally, these glass panels were manufactured with a previously unheard of tolerance of just 0.8 millimeters, weigh at several tons apiece, and create the impression of a building that's constructed out of one enormous piece of glass. Were they flat rather than curved, they could have been easily manufactured cheaper and not required special machines to craft and install. The only problem with these panels is that they were so transparent that they're easy to walk into. Luckily, Apple's rectified that. The spaceship is also designed to be earth weight resistant. It can, in fact, move more than four feet to better withstand earthquakes, employing basic isolation technologies that will help it live through even the biggest earthquakes ever recorded. 
The base isolation system in use here consists of some 692 big saucers made of stainless steel, all of which are two stories below ground level and these are modeled on those used in Japan. While this earthquake resistant system might seem like overkill, it bears remembering that Apple Park is well within the earthquake country and there's this little thing known as the San Andreas Fault miles beneath the ground that can shift at a moment's notice and ruin lives, careers, non-protected buildings and so on. So, we give thanks for the shifting ability of the spaceship. May it shift and dance forever. The obsession with detail extends to a 330 ton and 92 feet tall steel reinforced campus restaurant glass doors, which are engineered to close and open with nary a sound. As y'all might know, Steve Jobs rarely did anything by half measures, and this park is the perfect monument to his dreams and aspirations and is perhaps the most effective and efficient office building on the planet. He wanted the best and most unique office building in the world that made use of the latest technologies and processes, which would be as distinctive as his character and as earth-shaking as his many inventions, and he got it in spades. Costs be damned. Fanatical attention to detail. The third reason why the Apple Park is so expensive has to do with the fanatical levels of attention to detail. While the more than $5 billion cost of Apple Park includes the price of construction, design costs, and demolition of the buildings that were already in the area, plus buying the over 100 acres on which it was sited, a large percentage can be attributed to Jobs' need to perfect whatever he came into contact with. What this means is that every building on the campus enjoys a truly exceptional fit and finish, and that's precisely what's usually found in just about all Apple products. For Jobs, the park was his magnum opus, and he wanted structures without any seam or gap, any fault of any kind, or visible paint strokes of any kind. Thus, every wall, floor, and even ceiling on the campus are are polished and you have to look hard and squint even harder to see a bolt or a screw. Jobs even specified that gaps between surfaces should be 1 32nd of an inch at the most, whereas the usual standard used in construction in the States was an eighth of an inch. Moreover, it is usual to cast concrete ceilings in place, but that wasn't good enough for Jobs. Now, he ordered the ceilings to be cast in molds and then placed in the required positions, with this not only guaranteeing precision and uniformity, but also ratcheting up the costs, of course. That wasn't the last of it by any measure, with all interior wood used in the building taking from a single species of maple tree, and even then only the top quality heartwood found in the inner part of the tree was utilized. Stuff like these pushed up the construction costs and led to delays and ensured that the edifice was not completed on schedule. Reports even had it stated that after Jobs passed on, the Apple management spent over a year and a half debating the design of door handles to be used within the park. This kind of extreme attention to minutia and detail was apparently too much for the first general contractors hired for the project. This was DPR Construction in Skanska, USA, and they reportedly preferred running for the hills at full speed rather than adhere to the insane level of detail that the project called for. Only the best materials were used. The fourth reason why the Apple Park in Cupertino, California is so expensive is that only the best materials were used in its construction by the best workmen and designers in the business and it was all mostly bespoke. The late Steve Jobs was a notorious perfectionist, and the construction of the circular spaceship, that's the Apple Park, exactly mirrored that aspect of his character. No expense was spared to make the edifice as sublime as possible and brain-melting in all respects. With a final cost of over $5 billion, this translates to at least $1,785 for every square foot, or $12.40 for every square inch, however you want to measure it, making the Apple Park a rather expensive proposition. Initially projected to cost $3 billion or less, construction costs quickly ballooned to over $5 billion since the inheritors of Steve's job vision were not willing to accept using second best materials and were more than ready to spend any amount and force the invention of new processes and practices to see their dream of the future come true. This resulted in the widespread use of materials of construction that were both expensive and unusual labor costs. The fifth reason why Apple Park is so expensive has to do with the heady construction costs. Constructing a building of this magnitude would never be cheap, even in the best of times. But costs went up because at the time the Apple Park was taking shape, the Silicon Valley area was experiencing an economic boom. Yeah, economic booms are great as new money and people flow in and there are plenty of jobs to go around. Booms, however, can lead to widening income equality, plus increasing poverty and homelessness while raising the general costs of living. Anyway, when Apple Park was being built, there was a shortage of qualified construction workers in the Bay Area. More had to be imported from elsewhere, and all had to be paid good money to dissuade them from up and leaving before the construction was completed. So high labor cost is another reason why the overall cost of Apple Park ended up being so expensive. And now for the moment you've been waiting for, the quiz answer. Earlier on, we asked you the weight of the heaviest panes of glass used to make the spaceship such a glittering masterpiece. And if you answered three tons, give yourself a pat on the back. Hungry for more so expensive videos? 
Click on the playlist to the left to binge watch reasons why stuff such as the Rolls Royce and Brabus cars are so expensive. See you there.